So what happens when SpaceX actually breaks laws of Starbase? These are environmental laws that we're talking about. How does that impact their upcoming flights like IFT-5? And is a small fine the only consequence or could there be bigger delays on the horizon? So what does that mean for the upcoming flight? And these are the questions that come up when SpaceX's recent environmental violation happened in South Texas. They've been fined $3,750 by the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the TCEQ, for discharging wastewater into wetlands surrounding its South Texas launch site near Boca Chica Beach without proper permits. Now, while this fine might seem kind of trivial for a company of SpaceX's size, the repercussions of this violation could be far more significant. The environmental issue has already led to delays in SpaceX's launch plans, with the FAA postponing public comment sessions on the company's plans to ramp up Starship launches. Now, the TCEQ determined that SpaceX had violated state law by operating its launch pad's water deluge system without necessary permits. The system, which is critical for managing the heat, noise, and the vibrations generated during rocket launches, sprays over 100,000 gallons of water to dampen it. Now, some of this water, which eventually flows into the nearby saltwater wetlands, is considered industrial wastewater, requiring a Texas pollutant discharge elimination system permit, something SpaceX failed to obtain before operating the system. Now, the situation escalated when the FAA revealed that the environmental violation was a factor in its decision to halt public comment sessions regarding SpaceX's increase in the number of Starship launches coming up. Now, this is initially planned in mid-August. The sessions were intended to gather public input on SpaceX's request to launch and land up to 25 Starships from Starbase. And the FAA stated that upon learning of the environmental issues and the questionable documentation provided by SpaceX and its application, it had no choice but to delay these sessions. Now, furthermore, the FAA is also reviewing SpaceX's application for a launch license for IFT-5. It has been affected by the ongoing environmental scrutiny, of course, and the delays in securing the license suggest that SpaceX's timeline for its Starship program could face further setbacks as regulators increase their oversight. Now, the scrutiny could impact SpaceX's ability to conduct its tests and launches according to its planned schedules, particularly in additional environmental concerns were raised. Now, Elon Musk doesn't like this. He responded on X. He downplayed the incident. He said, just to be clear, this silly fine was for spilling potable drinking water. It was posted uh, in response to this, trivializing the TCEQ's findings and the facts tell a different story. The fine was not merely about the type of water used, but rather about the failure to secure the proper permits. This is a violation of both state and federal environmental laws. And according to the TCEQ, SpaceX should have obtained a TPDES permit before using the deluge system, particularly given the system's significant env environmental impact. And the system, which is installed about a year ago, had been used multiple times for test fires and launches before the company even applied for the permit on July 1st of this year. That came after SpaceX has already conducted three launches using the deluge system. The, uh, the approval process for this permit uh, typically takes about 30 days. SpaceX could face a prolonged period of uncertainty regarding the operations of Starbase now. And the TCEQ's enforcement against SpaceX is still under review, and the penalties will not be finalized until the commission's next meeting where the case will be discussed. And despite agreeing to the enforcement order, SpaceX has faced criticism for the handling of the situation. The company released a statement on August 12th claiming that it coordinated with state and federal agencies during the installation of the deluge system, and it had been confirmed, uh, or sorry, informed that it could continue. Now, SpaceX asserted that it received uh, approval from regulatory bodies to continue using the deluge system without a permit in that contrast with the findings that the CCEQ and the Federal Environmental Protection Agency of the EPA um, have known about. And they notified SpaceX back in March about these violations for the Clear Water Act, warning the company about potential environmental hazards and pollutants. Now, despite the warning, though, SpaceX kept going. Uh, they kept using the deluge system, leading to TCEQ's inspection and a subsequent fine. Now, the federal and state scrutiny that SpaceX is currently under could delay the company's plans. The FAA, for instance, has postponed its revision 
of the environmental assessment of SpaceX's proposal to increase its launch cadence. The FAA has stated that it will now revise this assessment before rescheduling public meetings, which is a process that could further push back the timeline for SpaceX's launch activities. Now, slowdown in SpaceX's operations comes at a critical time for the company as it prepares for IFT-5. Uh, the flight is particularly notable because SpaceX plans to attempt a landing maneuver with the booster on the catch arms. It's a huge booster. It's about 300 feet tall. It would be the first time ever to happen. It's requiring meticulous planning and training and approval from the FAA. And we got to make sure that the public is safe. And SpaceX has been working intensely to upgrade its tower for this. Um, now, over the past few weeks, they've worked on reinforcing the structure, focusing on the catch arms that are supposed to grab the super heavy booster as it descends. The system is designed to catch the booster midair, a feat that's never been done before and is a significant leap in tech for SpaceX and the whole spaceflight community. Uh, FAA's review of SpaceX's flight plan for the next Starship mission uh, is a close examination of this planned booster recovery operation. They must ensure that the catch mechanism and the overall flight plan, plan uh, meet safety standards before granting approval. The complexity of this review, combined with the ongoing environmental issues, can mean that SpaceX will have to wait even longer than anticipated before it can proceed with its next launch. Now, the environmental compliance issues, though, are not just a regulatory problem, but also kind of a public relations thing. The company is always saying that they're all for the environment. They're helping to uh, perceive, or they have a perceived uh, image of being environmental friendly at Starbase. But SpaceX is pushing boundaries here, and they also must navigate through the environmental regulations that happen in a place like Starbase. The FAA's decision to postpone public meetings and revise its environmental assessment shows that this is really serious. Don't mess with the FAA. Don't mess with the environment or the EPA. SpaceX is treading on thin water here because uh, if they get too far down this environmental path, um, you never know what could happen. The FAA has the final decision on this. And if the FAA tells them they can't launch, then they can't launch. Uh, but SpaceX's broader plans for Boca Chica involve not just increasing Starship launches, but also landing starships back at the site and boosters, of course. And that requires the FAA's approval. The company's vision for turning Boca Chica into a spaceport is now facing huge hurdles as both the state and federal agencies are tightening up their oversight. But SpaceX is continuing at Starbase. You know, they're continuing their progress for the next Starship launch. They're upgrading the launch tower, refining the technology. They're doing tests soon, like a drop test that'll be um, some people are saying centimeters, tiny amount of, uh, a tiny amount of drop for a, a test booster could possibly do that first couple, you know, a little bit, a little tiny bit, a couple inches maybe. Um, but then going forward, having a heavier, more robust test in the future. Now, if they're going to be able to catch this thing, that's what I'm hoping happens for the IFT five flight. I don't know. Let me think. Let me know what you think down below. It's a difficult task for SpaceX to handle rocket operations, regulatory operations, make sure that no wastewater gets spilled into the local environment, and also people. There's thousands of people that work at SpaceX. So they have to make sure to protect those people during the next launch and the landing and the catch. What do you think of the FAA? and the EPA and the environmental um, agencies involved with this. It's a tough decision for somebody like myself, who I really do enjoy SpaceX. I think they're doing amazing things and I want to see them succeed. I, like this isn't a hate piece at all. And if you made it this far, you know, I'm a huge fan of SpaceX. I'm just telling you the news, but I want them to do the right thing. I don't want them to spill wastewater, even if it's potable drinking water because that could disrupt the ecosystems of the local habitats there. Um, there's plenty of uh, wildlife that's been there way longer than humans. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of all this. Do you think it's just kind of like a ruse? You think it's like somebody that's out to get SpaceX? Some people think that. Some people think that, 
you know, the government's trying to get him or something. There's like a big boogeyman that's after him. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. You know, some people think that like some certain president that's happening, you know, ha- has uh, some influence on this. The current president, because Elon is in uh, cahoots with the former president. I don't know. It's a it's an interesting topic to think about. But the FAA and the EPA and environmental protection um, agencies, even in Texas, like if Texas, the you know, the hub of uh, one side of the aisle compared to the other. If they're saying, no, 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 don't do it, Elon, then, you know, there's no weird stuff going on. I don't know. It's a it's a tricky situation for SpaceX. But I want to know your comments down below because your voice matters on this channel. Uh, we're a community here. I tell you the news. I, I let you know what's going on. And then I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think about this stuff, because this is all about you. You know, I, I don't really get much from this channel other than I like to do it. And I love it. I've been doing it for about four years. So if you like space flight and if you like space flight report, like independent space flight reporters, please take a second and hit the thumbs up button and help out the channel a little bit. It's free. It takes a second. And while you're down there, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you're really into it, hit the subscribe button. If you really want stuff that's not just from me, but from other space flight reporters that maybe you haven't heard about. If you like, comment and subscribe, YouTube is going to start pushing that content to you. Not from me, but probably from other creators. It happens to me all the time. I find new people all the time. I, t- I talk about this every episode because um, I want you to get the best uh, space flight reporting. If it's, not, if it's not for me, it's somebody else. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in the next one.